What up, y'all? This is Felicia Cruz. I'm Adrian Mac Davis for Underground Radar Magazine. And everybody starts somewhere. Oh, Lord, together, it was really fate. You know, you were just talking a moment ago about, you know, how the universe has this way of, of bringing necessary sources together. Well, yeah. our worlds collided about four years ago. She was just coming back from a Fighting for Futures expedition over in Southeast Asia. I was releasing my first project in the Lower East Side, and we met, and we vibed on the music. I knew I had more work and development to do. She had opportunities to do that with me. So, yeah, we've been going really hard together for about four years. It's true. She said no lies. Um, <laughs> I got off the plane from Cambodia. I went to um, her release party, which was also my friend's coming home party. And then it was like, yo, Adrian Mag Davis, you're dope. But like, this stuff is free. Like, I looked at the card. I'm like, why is this free? I don't get it. And she's like, because I can make more music. I'm like, oh, really? You can make more music? Then let's do it. And she was like, yeah, let's do it. And then every day since, it was either meetings about how to be better how to do better, how to get things more in order. And then we finally got our website, finally got like her Instagram and her Facebook stuff. Yeah. Got all those things together and we hit the Vans Warped Tour. Um, our first our first April, it was like our first eight or no. Yeah, our first April, that was when we had it after South by Southwest. Right, that was our first tour we did, Vans Warped Tour. And then the second year we went to, um, where did we go? Mexico, yeah, Central America. And we were like, we're going to do, yeah. yeah, we did a lot of fighting for future stuff over there. But we were still living in Brooklyn. And the thing was, is we were both getting this like, yo, we want to be on the road all the time. Like, this is silly, like coming home and like being in this environment that's not conducive to like the, the environment we want to be in. We want to be in travel and all over the place. So yeah, we got home, second warp tour. And then after that second warp tour was on, we're just like, we're out of here. And we hopped in a car and we left. And two years later. Yep. Um, I've been playing, dancing, singing, jumping, kicking, and being a ninja of sorts since I was a little kid. So I've always had that tenacity to be kind of like, hey, here I am, like, look, this is what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm creative over here. But I've never really loved one thing. I've always loved a variety of things. So since I was little, the only thing I ever wanted to be besides an entertainer was a veterinarian, and I was like four or five. And after that, it was, it was all the rest. Oh wait, and the first female Major League Baseball player. Those are the two things I wanted to be, but it's still in the entertainment realm, so. <laughs> um, I've been singing since really young, um, just kind of freestyling it, just naturally came out. Um, so yeah, since about three, I've been you know expressing myself, and then my mom put me in lessons. I'm classically trained in opera. Um, I've messed with jazz. I mean, I went for school to school for this. I have a degree in studio composition, and um, you know, so yeah, I've been going. This is just naturally something I've gravitated to my whole life. So, you're on your way to Boston mm -hmm. for Boston. <laughs> We're actually gonna be. Um, linking with um, some friends there. We're gonna be doing some, uh, some singing and busking um, at the public market up there uh, with her food truck. So we're gonna do some advertising for this. Um, and the weekend coming up, we're going to Stargaze Festival. That's gonna be in um, Barrington Shores, uh, North, North New Hampshire, sorry. And um, wait, that's the wrong name. Is it Barrington Shores? Okay, good, excellent. Um, but yeah, so we're going up there. So we're gonna do some, probably some promo for that. And, um, just get the vocals up and just you know be in the community with Boston, meet up with some people, have some meetings. Obviously, we're always working in the interim between shows. So yeah, that's what Boston has in store. Well, I'll speak on the behalf of the manager side right now. Um, Adrian has a new project coming out, um, looking probably be somewhere between December 9th. That I'm thinking December 9th is a good date for it to drop. We're still working on that, but it's not going to be any later than that. And that'll be this, about the same time we head over to Southeast Asia again. It's our seventh international mission with Fighting for Futures. So we're currently getting contributions for that, raising money. <laughs> Fightingforfutures.org is where you can find all of the information on um, what we've done in our past, what we're doing in our future, what we're doing right now every day in just communities um, in America. So we're kind of trying to build it all, put it together. And our 501c3 is our next project as a whole with our, our company, New Fame, and Fighting for Futures, making that an official 501c3, and then doing a lot of educational tours and, and bringing this worldwide in a more sustainable way. And then musically, 
What's uh, what's the project gonna be? I think she should tell you. Uh, it only takes one IOTO. It's um, yeah, that's that's the project, and it's just obviously about the fact that it only takes one. And how many different situations does it only take one thing to shift perspective, um, to shift mood? Um, so exploring that and having fun, there's some serious things in there, but it's also a lot of fun and, and just a good mix of music, it's a good mix of R&B, pop, um, hip hop, you know, dance music. You know? Studios so, you're working out of? Um, studios I'm working out of, Acme Studios, uh, that's in Maranac, New York. Um, also uh, working with a bunch of really, really dope producers. I'm not going to get into all of them, um, but shout out to, to the whole team, to New Fame, to everybody making this possible. Uh, to Stringer for the engineering, you know, Dan, that's what's up. There's a lot of good people coming together, so. Um, Felicia Cruz, obviously. Um, and right now, no, just I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on, I'm putting the best product forward, um, and because of being on tour full time, it's hard to link up and do the collaborations. I don't want to put something out there with a name or, you know, just to collab. I'd like to be able to get in the studio with these people and do it correct. So until I'm able to do that, which I'm able to do obviously with Cruz, because you know we're we're grinding every day. Um, you know, it's it's me and my writing, and yeah, yeah. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, social networks we can find you at. Um, yeah, obviously fightingforfutures.org. You can find uh, newfamellc.com. Um, amacdavis.com and obviously all the things on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of that is amacdavis. So you can find me super easy. I don't know if you want to add anything. Not really. FeliciaCruz.com at Felicia Cruz. That's my personal one. And F E L E C I A C R U Z. That's everything. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram.